Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound tip of the day. Well, this tip is inspired by a conversation that was had on social media uh, about uh, one of the posts um, that I put up about using a click track. And uh, there was a good discussion about when to use it and when it's okay not to use it. And my basic uh, theory on this is if you are able to use it, meaning if you are proficient at uh, playing with a click track with your band and also by yourself as a drummer or a guitar player or a bass player or a keyboard player as any sort of in instrumentalist, then of course, if you choose to play without a click track in a recording session or in a rehearsal uh, environment, then that's completely up to you and you're going to have, uh, you know, an option, you know, to, to, to play with or without. Now, if you are unable to play with a click track, then I find that it's mostly an excuse and people want to argue about why um, play, not playing to a click track is better. So if you have the skills and you are completely proficient at playing with a the metronome, then by, by all means experiment which sounds better, uh, playing to a click or playing without a click. Um, if you are, you know, not able to play to a click, then then maybe it's just something that you need to focus on for a little while and get proficient at. I know for me, it took me, you know, a good year uh, of playing to a click track with my drums and with my guitars um, to finally, you know, really feel comfortable with it. You know, it took me maybe a few months where, you know, I could I could get on and stay on most of the time, but now when i play to a click track it 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 doesn't even it's i i prefer to play to a click track most of the time because then i i know exactly where my tempo is um maybe it's a crutch at, at some point for some people but i think uh you as a musician you owe it to yourself to be proficient playing with and without and then when an engineer or a producer or whoever uh, asks you to play with, and then you can do it, and you then you'll have a comparison. You know, if you're in a recording session, play your song with a click track, and then play it, drop it out, and play it again, and see which version you like better. And you may find that you do like the one without the click track better, um, uh, and that's great. Uh, but then you at least know the difference. So that's my uh, little spiel on click track debate. And the reason why uh, it's sort of a hot topic for me, I guess, is because as an engineer so long uh, in the studio, I would uh, encourage bands when they came into the to record to try to play with the click track. And when I, what I found was when they realized uh, that they weren't capable, then they had all kinds of excuses why it was better to record without one. Now, I never heard that from bands that were completely capable of recording to a click. Uh, sometimes they would say, let's try this one without a click. But most of the time, 90% of the time, if they were proficient at playing to a click, they used a click because it, it uh, definitely makes the recording process um, from beginning to end. Uh, a lot more efficient uh, and uh, easier to edit. So anyway, uh, good luck with all that. Rock on.